Good. Oh. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. But it's not just any Lumber Tycoon 2, and you've probably seen this already because of the title. Um, this is the 90,000 subscriber special and the Ask Code um, questions that you guys sent in from the other video the other night. And a couple of you um, did some other videos. I got a whole bunch of people with me. Hi, all. Hi, all. Say hello. But I figured um, I might as well go to my favorite place that I like to um, sit and just think and read and do things. That's the um, the Bluewood Cave, the Electric Cave. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, do you guys know how to get there? Uh, okay, so uh, this is this is going to be pretty long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get down to the blue cave. I'm going to find a nice serene tree, sit in it, and then I'm going to start reading off your guys' comments. Uh, I'll throw them up there on the screen. If there's anything inappropriate, I'm going to try and get rid of it as fast as I can. I've gone through most of them, and if there were any kind of uh, responses to them, I went ahead and deleted them out so we don't see the responses. We're just going to see um, the actual questions themselves. So, let's go! I hope nobody gets lost. If anybody gets lost, I'm going to have to go back for them and find them and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, we're just going to speed run this uh, cave real quick. And if you've never been down inside the, the cave before, it's over, um, like, you have to... Uh-oh, wait, oh, 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 wrong direction, wrong direction. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. This way, this way, this way. All right, long hallway. Taking a right, and then it hooks around to the left. We should see door number one. Door number one is closed. All right, so I'm going to say, door one is closed. Back up. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Come on through here. That's where we came from. This is where we're going. I usually get to the place I'm going by leaving the place that I've been. Words of wisdom, Winnie the Pooh, right there. Mm -hmm. Door number two. Oh, sorry, door number three. And this is door number two. So, door two and three are closed. By the way, today is Tuesday. I don't know if the days have a significance to uh, what door is going to be open or not, but. They tend to seem to close on specific days. So, head down this little long hallway here. Little long hallway. Turn to the right. There's the H turn right there. Go back this direction. No, they blocked my way to you, Code. Oh. <laughs> All right, door number four. Door number five should just be around the corner. Five, okay, uh-oh. We may have a problem here, guys. If all the doors are blocked off, how am I supposed to get down to the Blue Woods to read off your guys' comments? I'll we'll have to find another serene area to go and relax in. But that's okay. Alright, turn to the right. Door number seven, right there. Door number six. Please, please, please be open. Please be open. No! What? Oh, no. All the doors are, are closed. No! Oh! All the doors are closed. Mm, saddy face. That's okay. Mm, sad tear face. Uh, really? Yes, really. Really. Wait, really? <laughs> all, all seven. I just proved it right there. I'm heading to the blue wood to do the special. Sorry, guys. I'll be with you afterwards. Okay? You may be asking, like, Code, how are you gonna get through? That's simple mathematics. All right, I know how to glitch through things. So, right here's a nice little edge. And I think, do I still have, I don't have shift lock on. But if I do this correctly, I should be able to shoot through the wall. Ready? Boink! Nope, nope, that didn't work. Hold on, try that again. And boink! Oof. Oh, oh, no, I'm like stuck in the wall. No, that's horrible. That's like super bad. All right, come on, come on. Get out of the wall, just please. 
you don't know what I'm doing, I'm basically, I'm turning and, oh, like, pulling out my axe at the same time. Oh, gosh. Jumping and first person spin moves. I'm stuck under the, and they're like, where are you, code? I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, as you can tell, like, right there's where the place that I need to be. And I was going to glitch through here. Uh, we're at the bottom looking up at the thing right now. So this is, um, this is not good. Not good at all. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to oof. I'm stuck under the walls. Sorry face. Oh wait, can I, like, how far out can I see here? I'm like super stuck under the walls too. Like that's no joke, stuck. Uh, you still, do you still have your axes? I do. But I don't think I'm moving at all. Oh, I am moving. Hold up. I'm like glitching out like crazy. <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost there! <laughs> uh, Zikuz, I see you. <laughs> you are at the front of my, my truck. <laughs> I'm inside that wall, just to the right, next to the uh, black door. <laughs> That's not why you guys came to watch this. You came to to, to like see the Q and A. Hold on, I'm almost out. I'm almost out. Keep going that way. Keep go go that way. Is it is it possible to like? Uh Please, please, please. Please, I'm just about there. Almost. I'm like stuck. Come on. Please. Uh oh, what that okay, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's glitching me out like crazy. Please, please, almost, please. If you don't know, we're like right there on the edge. I'm on the edge. Come on, come on. Glitch through, glitch through, please. I uh, hope you don't have epilepsy. <laughs> we still have like a few feet to go. Come on, come on. Come on. We're almost there. Almost there. Wow, got it. <laughs> got it. Oh my gosh. Here we are 10 minutes into the video. <laughs> uh, but I am on the opposite side of the wall. So here we go. <laughs> Off into the distance. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> I will. Wait, is that the... Which wall is that? Is that... That's door number four, isn't it? Oh, gosh. Okay. It's dark. I can't see anything. Hold on. Roblox. Uh, let's go... Where is it? Roblox game. Right-click. Properties. Cancel. Right-click. Filters. 
And... Ooh, oh, there we are. So if you guys don't know how to do that, that is uh, on OBS itself. It's a little built-in feature called color correction. We're just going to go around the side here. And down a little ways. And right here, this is the S turn that gets into the second cavern. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. It's going to take a second to get down there, but I, I really, I want to sit in the place where I'm the most calm, which is the dark blue haze stuff. It really is, it's like my favorite place to be. And we're not going to be able to collect stuff, but I'm glad he, he was able to get in. Good job, buddy. That is one of the tricks um, to getting unstuck from things, is use your axe to modify the way your character collides with things, because it will, it'll, it'll let you through and let you out. Yay! We're at the blue. Wood. Oh my gosh! I have never seen them this big before. Wow! 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 Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the filters. Things are huge. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is, this is awesome for a special. This is perfect. Okay, let's find a nice tree. We'll just sit down. Sit down right here. We'll zoom out. All right. Okay. Reading questions now. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Um, let's see, I need to unhide the chrome right here. And if you guys don't know, I had asked you all to um, place it into the comment section um, of one of my videos, hashtag ask code and ask your questions. So I'm gonna go through each one of those right now and answer them for you. Um, this has had quite a few um, days to like bake off so you guys had plenty of time to ask questions um, but yeah here they are so from Weston ask code what do you think about there not being an up ant updates in lumber um, I actually don't mind it because a lot of games they rely on the updates um, lumber happens to be one of those games like we know we're going to get updates on Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas. There's like set release dates, and that's that is okay with me. Um, there's also a lot of fixes. Uh, you don't see a lot of games going through and fixing a whole bunch of stuff, but Defaultio does. He he's working on like a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm okay with there not being that many updates. All right, uh, next question from Super Happy Laser. On a scale of one to Z, what is your favorite flavor of Alphabet? Um, Tango. <laughs> um, my favorite flavor of ice cream is, um, what is it? It's uh, cake dough. It's birthday cake. That's my favorite. And that's from Sto uh, Cold Stone. Okay. Uh, Happy Super Laser also asked, why is this backwards? Uh, I actually read that backwards. So that's, uh, yeah. So it's because you wrote it backwards, most likely. Uh, Vin Vionix Gamer ask on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do you love playing games I would say I w it's a 9 it's a 9 I like spending time with my family and hanging out with like them more than, than I do video games so on a scale of 1 to 10 in my life it's a 9 I could even go 8 I, I love playing video games I like the idea of video games being your job like there's so many ways that we could incorporate video games into everyday life and there's also this huge um, stereotype that um, just because you play video games that's not a sport like you watch sports right like baseball football hockey but those don't get blocked at work and then if you go try and watch twitch channels those get blocked at like schools and stuff that's it's just a little stereotype thing that I have so scale of one one to ten it's a nine uh, next question. Uh oh, slow down. Come back there. There we go. Uh, from Gaming Express. Uh, do you have PTSD at all? 
Um, I would say yes. I have not been diagnosed with PTSD. For those of you that don't know, it is uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, a lot of Marines, a lot of um, veterans will come back home with PTSD, and it is a serious problem. It, it's oh oh I forgot to heart every single comment. Okay, there we go. So, um, do I think that I have it? Yes, I do. Um, I don't think it is um, extreme enough for um, like medication or therapy or anything like that. But on a scale, yeah, I would say that I have some form of PTSD, just because of the um, the experience of the Marine Corps itself. So, um, Matthew Walters asks, "What got you into Roblox?" My kids um, actually got me into it. Um, I we were watching Ethan Gamer TV. Thank you, Ethan, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, they they were watching him and they saw him playing Roblox. So I went ahead and installed Roblox on their machines, got them accounts set up and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. I'll go, I'll go play with them because that's what I do is I'll go play RuneScape with them. I'll go play Club Penguin with them. Like anything that we can go and play as a family, I go and do. Roblox happened to be something huge that just happened. And I was very, very happy about that. So yeah, my kids got me into Roblox. Um, <clears throat> how did you become a successful YouTuber? I don't know. Uh, am I successful? <laughs> yes, I would say successful. Like success in YouTube is a matter of opinion because like there's PewDiePie and Dan TDM and like big YouTuber success stories, and then there's like me. And I mean, I just kind of grew. So how did I become successful? Uh, I kept at it. I played what I wanted to. I I loved what I was doing. And I think that's one of the biggest things. And it sounds so cliche. It sounds like this huge thing that all the YouTubers got together and said, hey, when somebody asks this, we say that. And it's not. It truly is not. You have to really enjoy what you're doing on YouTube for everyone to, um, to like, get it. If you're just doing it to get subscribers, get money or whatever, you're never going to, like, I, I don't want to say never because there are case scenarios but you're not gonna be happy at it. So, definitely, how did I become successful? I found something that people wanted to watch, and I think clean family gameplays, that was definitely one of them. So, oh, sorry, uh, that was Soft Whitelist, WL. Don't know what the name is. Mr. Waffles, Waff, Mr. Waffle Miss Syrup. Uh, I'm 13 and I was diagnosed with my superpower of ADHD two years ago and I was wondering how do you deal with your ADHD and if you have any tips on how to manage it. Um, yes, uh, coffee. <laughs> that's, that's not the true all be all answer. Um, coffee helps me to concentrate. Um, as far as dealing with your ADHD, um, it's not so much you that has to deal with the ADHD itself. It's other people's responses to your ADHD. If you were placed into a room by yourself with no outside influences at all, you would have no problem. It's the way that you're perceived by other people that has a problem. Um, so it's don't ever say that you're dealing with your ADHD. It's how you're presenting your ADHD to others. And that just, it, it'll come with time. You will understand what kind of responses people are looking for, what is and is not appropriate inside social constructs or conversations. Um, I've had to pretend to learn different responses. Um, a lot of the times it's it's writing down lists. Lists are huge things, if I can remember to write down a list. But then I take it to the extreme and I'm like, I need a billion sticky notes. That's the ADHD, so it'll it'll come with time. You'll learn how to cope with it. You'll learn how to deal with it. And don't ever let somebody tell you that it's a disorder or that it's it's a hindrance of some kind. It's it's really not. All right. It really is a superpower. You just have to you have to learn how to use it. So, all right. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Plug books <coughs> says, do you have an image of Steve in your head or is, is he just a voice? I would imagine Steve as um, a crew cut. Uh, dark hair, probably 5'10", five, 5'11", five, but about the same height as me. I'm 6'2", a little bit shorter than me. And I also imagine him as always wearing this this like blazer of some kind, like a 
like a jacket with like a white shirt but no tie. So it's like casual, formal, um, kind of like a security guard would use or like the the, the head of a um, the hotel kind of person, but around the same age as me. Probably probably younger, just, you know, inexperienced. But yeah, that's what I imagine Steve, Steve as. Um, yeah, okay, next question. <laughs> Raymond, uh, Code, do you, can you do a gaming setup? Um, not really, because I mean, it's literally, it's, okay, okay. Um, I don't want to like show it to you because I'm in my garage and if you ever watch my like time to clean up video I have a black backdrop and then uh, I pull it back and I reveal the garage the garage is still a mess and I am a very messy person if you've ever seen my base it's the same way my garage looks like my base it's just <laughs> there's stuff everywhere and it's stuff that I don't want to get rid of and I would not say I'm a hoarder but I definitely hang on to things that probably I don't need to anymore um, no particular reason at all. So that's why I don't do a gaming setup. But if you want to know what I've got, I have a um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA oh, blah, 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 Cyber Power NVIDIA GTX um, 1060 Ti. It's the six gigabyte. Um, it's my powerhouse PC. It's down there. It's on the floor. Um, that way it doesn't have the, the sound going through the table. Uh, I have a Samsung curved display. It's very big. I don't It's 20... 23 inches it's huge uh, I've got a Logitech camera which is right here I'm pointing at and then I have a second monitor it's not very good this is like 10 years old but it's it's an NEC multi-sync LCD 1920NX and I literally I mounted it on and like an old all-in-one PC it doesn't even the old PC doesn't even work it's just a mount for the the computer or the monitor and then I've got these little things these right here are actually um, party lights back whenever I used to do... Wow, just blinded myself. Um, back whenever I used to do karaoke, uh, I was a karaoke DJ. <laughs> Don't laugh. All right, karaoke DJ. Uh, that's one of the reasons I still carry the karaoke stuff over in Discord. Ah, my camera. Anyhow, um, I've got three of those. One here, one over there, and one up there. And then I have a Blue Yeti microphone. That's what you're listening to the smooth sounds of Code Primate on. And then um, I have Philips headset. Uh, this is from Target. It's like 10 bucks or 19 bucks, something like that. Um, keyboard and mouse are the ones that came with the CyberPower, CyberPower PCs. So that's that's basic. That's it. That's my gaming setup. Um, I got a table. It's got a silk cloth on it. That way the mouse moves and it doesn't scratch my arms. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> Okay, next question. <clears throat> Thank you, Raymond. And liked or hearted. Forgot to heart yours too. Oh my goodness. Look at all these not getting hearts. There we go. All right, Raymond. See ya. Let's go back up. Godly Chickens ask, can you sign my base? Yes, follow me into a game. Uh, will you do a collab with Flamingo? And then Devil Faces. Hearted. Uh, super happy, happy Laser. Thank you so much. That's like three questions in a row. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if Flamingo like gets a hold of me and says, Hey Code, I really like your content. You need to come over and do Maybe. Who knows? Um I don't I don't know if we could. Uh Matorato says, What is your favorite programming language? <clears throat> I would say well, okay, I I don't really have a favorite programming language. Um when it comes to programming itself there's two different main styles. There's script style, and then there's um, wait, wait, there's three different styles. There's script style, there's uh, JIT, which is just in time, um, and then there is compiled. So when you think of C and C++, those are compile languages. Like you have to write it out and then compile it into machine language, which will convert over into an executable. That's that's like hardcore, deep level stuff, okay? And then you have scripting languages, which are over here on the far right. These are stuff like, well, I wouldn't say Lua, um, Visual Basic Script, uh, jQuery, um, and, and it's different types. But those are straight up text files that get read by an interpreter and do things. 
All right? That's that the the program, the language isn't doing something. It's it's the interpreter doing something. And then there's this thing called just in time compilation, which just in time is it takes the code, converts it real quick into a machine language, and then spits it out. It's just in time. So when somebody executes the, the file, it runs, executes, goes. So what is my favorite programming language? I don't really have one. I like all programming languages. Um, Lua is is more elusive at the moment just because I do Roblox and everything else. And it's kind of one of those languages that I don't need it to do my job, so I'm not constantly looking at it, so I want to do more of it, if that makes sense. Because on a daily basis, I do Cold Fusion, um, I do, let's see, I do Cold Fusion, uh, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, J jQuery, um, and I guess that's it. That's it. And that's what I do on a daily basis for the applications that I write for the, the company I, I work for. Um, something that I something else that I do is uh, Autoit programming. So Autoit itself is not a programming language. Yeah, it's a, it's a programming language, but it derives from Visual Basic. Visual Basic was the first programming language that I learned. So I mean, that's why I really like Autoit. So what is my favorite programming language? To answer your question, all of them. Any programming language that you can sit down and learn, I love. So I hope I hope that helps. Which is also why they called me Code Primate. <clears throat> Code Monkey. Code Monkey! <clears throat> Which by the way, Code Monkey itself I think is copywritten, so I can't use that. Uh, Wrecking Wall says, Will you make more Lua scripting videos? I love them. Uh, I'd love to see them again. Yes, I absolutely plan on doing more of them. Um, I've been fearful of like trying to do videos before the book comes out and then like, because when you think of a tutorial video, you think, oh, I'm gonna go to this video, I'm gonna learn this. But I like to think of tutorial videos when I make them as, hey, I'm gonna play with this for uh, a couple of hours and just see what, I think he is not recording. I am, I'm reading questions <laughs> sorry sorry so anyhow uh, will I do more scripting videos I'm gonna say yes all right and it's my hope that I actually follow through with it but at the moment I'm kind of holding off I'm, I'm just coasting until that book comes out and then I'm gonna be like yeah let's do some more how to make tutorial videos uh, can I intimidate or can I intimidate no oh, wait can, can I imitate Dr. Claw from the old school Inspector Gadget, your outro voice? Gadget, I'll get you next time, Gadget, if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> yes, that's... Yes, yes! It's <laughs> good. All right, Code, why did you start the channel? I started the channel um, back in 2005, 2007 time frame. And the original reason for my channel was to show the products, the things that I created inside Second Life, which used a different kind of scripting language called Linden Script Language. But it was to show that I could do things like Xbox controllers did not used to hook up to computers. You couldn't hook them up. It was impossible, right? So I found out that the connections were actually USBs. So I ended up cutting one of my cords, hooking it up to an old USB cable that I had, plugging it in, creating the drivers for it, um, a lo thank you so much for the subscribe uh, but that was the original reason was to show off my hackery was to show off the things that I could do the things I could create in Second Life the products I was making and that way people could see it before they buy it that that was one of the main like, reasons why did I get started into the new stuff I got tired of watching my kids go to YouTube and see nothing but screaming cussing yelling gameplays on games that are really supposed to be family friendly Minecraft, that is family friendly. I'm sorry, you're you're. It's not. No. Mm, mm, Roblox. Roblox is a family friendly. Mm, it just it made me mad. It made me so mad that I retaliated by killing them with kindness. That makes sense. I, I hope I hope that makes sense. Kill them with kindness is what I did. Uh, so that's that's how it happened. 
Uh, the success, by the way, a second part to that is I started because of my kids. I got more famous because I started doing um, lumber. And one of the first p persons that said you should record a Roblox video was Blobby890. So huge shout out to Blobby. Still bestest friend in the world on Roblox. And I love you, man. Thank you so much for telling me that that night because I was, I was really in like non confident. <clears throat> Landon says, um, "I love you. I have been watching you since two thousand two hundred thousand subs, not two hundred thousand twenty k subs. Uh, I love you. I love you too, Landon. Thank you so much." All right, Chris Lawrence says, "What is the door used for?" What is the door used for? Okay, to answer your question, the door itself is supposed to be inside your game where you open up the door and you can you can go in inside and it's a, it makes your house look very nice or your building look nice. Um, what I have found and what I've used it for is door bridge glitches and for stoppers of wood on conveyor belt systems and I've also I've seen it used to lift cars when you use it on either side of the cars you can lift cars off the ground so there's multiple uses for it um, what is the main use it was put in there to be a door so uh, and then pit pitsy Congrats! Q and A. What do you think about Poland viewers? Uh, Polish viewers? Poland viewers? I love them. I love all my viewers. And anybody that's anywhere from any anyone. Like, if you guys are here and you're watching, I love you guys. And I wanted to express that. Even if I never meet you, even if you've never talked to me, if you're just watching right now, I want to express my love for you. I love you as a human being. I think you're unique. And as a human race, I think you are an amazing individual, smart, pretty, beautiful, made exactly the way that you're supposed to be. And I want nothing but the best for you. So, and that's that's for anyone, not just Poland. So, <laughs> uh, Jonas Game. Oh gosh, it went too far. Oh, come back down. Jonas Gaming says, um, How do I get better at LT2? By the way, love your channel. Oh, love your comment. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to love that guy's comment. There we go. And I loved his as well. So, there you go. See? I loved it. Okay. Um, how do you get better at LT2? Can someone give me money? My started slot. No. <laughs> that was really harsh. No. Um, to get better at LT2, practice. Lots and lots of practice. We are 32 minutes into this video, and just to let you know, I'm like one-fourth the way down the page. So if you stay for the whole thing, I am going to read them all. I'm probably going to be really tired afterwards, but it's who knows? This could be like an hour and a half long, but it's a special. So if you got somewhere to be, remember, you can always pause it. You can come back. I love you guys. That's that's the way it is. So I might even, should I like end it and then open up a new one? So it'd be like a part one, two, three of the special. Who knows? Could do that. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, let's... Change the background a little bit so you get a. There we go. Back to the comments. Let's see. Um, how do you get better at LT2? Practice, practice, practice. Um, and watch my videos. <laughs> see what I did there? Blue Gaming says, Code, what is your favorite tree on lumber? It's, it's this one right here. The blue wood. Because it was the first glow wood that we had seen. And it's in a place where it's secretive and you might not always get it. So. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Code, what do you think about Donald Trump from Japanese kanji sign? Um, what do I think about Donald Trump? I think that he is the president of the United States. Um, and I think that he is part of the Republican Party. And I think that he has been our president for um, uh, quite a while now. Um, I don't get into politics. Okay, and one of the reasons I don't get into politics is because there's going to be somebody that disagrees with me. This is one of the reasons I, I steer clear of all politics. Um, now, I can definitely give my opinion on what I think of his tweets, um, but at the same time, I'm just I'm not going to say anything at all. All right, uh, I think that he has some amazing kids. There we go. And what, what's his name? Byron. I wonder if Byron plays Roblox. And if he does, Byron, if you're watching, awesome. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Donald Trump's kid subscribes to Code Primates. 
<laughs> that would be. I did a clickbait uh, thumbnail challenge. If you guys want to do that, like put the subscribe to code prime. That would be funny. So, just an idea, throwing it out there. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Inked Noodle Woodle Man says, "Good job on ninety thousand, uh, ninety thousand so far." My question is, can you add me on Xbox? I just love your videos and of you, of course. I would say yes, but, um, all right, I'm gonna give you a heart. I would say yes, but the thing is, I've got so many requests on Xbox that I can't, I can't keep up with them. I haven't even been adding anybody for like the last six months. So yes, if you wanna send it to me, my name on Xbox is Mr. Code Primate. All right, it's Mr. Code Primate. Code Primate was my original. We're not going to get into it. I'm very hurt about that story. Anyhow, Mr. Code Primate is me. That is my real account. That's who I am. Go report the Code Primate original. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Big Cheese Gaming says, Code, uh, what do you think the best coping mechanism is for bullying? Um, the best coping mechanism? Oof. It's going to be better. It's not you that they're bullying. They're bullying because of something that they feel, something that's going on inside their lives. Or they're, they're bullying because they don't understand. Um, people don't understand those who are different. And what they will do is they will find a way to make that person feel bad about themselves because they're not the way that they are. Um, will Wheaton does a huge, does a really good job on this. And he was on a panel in front of a whole bunch of people. His explanation was, it's exactly the same way that I feel. Um, feel sorry for that person. Feel sorry that they can't see what makes you special. Can't see what you enjoy. I got made fun of a lot in middle school, high school time frame because I played Dungeons and Dragons and I did break dancing and I skated and I did things out of the ordinary. Um, I also got made fun of for having ADHD. So, <sighs> look at me now. Just because somebody's bullying you doesn't mean that you don't have a really bright future. So, to cope with it, know that it's going to get better. Great question, Big Cheese. Joseph Ritchie, how rare is it to get into a video or in, get into a game or a video with you? Not that rare. We've had uh, a lot of people who have gotten into games and videos multitudes of times, and it's just knowing when I come online. So any Monday through Friday, between the times of 8:30 p.m. Central Time and 12 o'clock p.m. or 12 o'clock a.m. Central Time, that night time frame for me is prime. If you Look on your browsers during that time frame in that time zone. I will most likely be online at some point. So it's just uh, how fast you want to get in, and you're not going to be the only one looking. So it's also it's it's really good to have like Builders Club or something like that that stops the advertisements because you can get into the games faster. Just saying, you're welcome, Roblox. <laughs> uh, okay, Code. How do you get so much money inside Lumber Tycoon 2? You, fans, that's how. Like, there's no way I could have ever gotten to 10 million, 20 million on my own. It's because fans give me things, they give me rare woods, they give me money. And it's because of you guys that I have the money that I do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart because it's enabled me to make so many more videos and, and just have fun. I don't have to worry about going and getting money before doing a video. I, you guys have provided it for me. So thank you. Uh, Adrian Hart says, what is the first game that you played on this channel? Second Life. Um, as far as like when I got started back into it, I think it was Minecraft. Minecraft was the first one. Uh, I did some RuneScape videos um, and some some Club Penguin, but the first one, the, the first actual video was Second Life. Uh, and I think it's RC Cars. Uh, oh, give you a heart. Good question. Alex says, um, how you recording? How you recording smiley face? I record with OBS, um, which is open broadcast software, and I have it set up in a specific way where um, my intros all work in tandem with each other. My outros work, my transitions, like everything is a shortcut key. Um, Blue Yeti microphone, 
30 to uh, like 15 to 30 minutes every single day on YouTube doing scheduled releases same time every day the content that I love or the the games that I love that's that's how all right um, have you ever done fan meetups no would I like to yes yes I would it would be amazing um, I'm looking for a Roblox con and they don't have a Roblox con and I don't think they're gonna have one anytime soon so plasma gamer thank you so much for your question uh, leaf boy how did you get into Roblox and how long ago was it? And congrats on 90,000. Uh, you will reach 10, 100, uh, 10, 100K soon. Uh, reach to 100 mil. How, okay, so let me break down the questions. How did you get into Roblox? My kids. Uh, how long ago was it? I believe three years. We're coming up on four years. So we're, we're in the fourth year right now. Thank you for the, uh, the congratulations on 90,000. All right. MP Games. Um, have you ever played old school RuneScape? Love your videos. Um, yes. In fact, hold on. Old school RuneScape. Where are you? It's on mobile. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Old school RuneScape is now on mobile. So, like, whenever I go in. Oh, come on. Come on, connecting to server, connecting to server, come on. That was probably copywritten, so I'm probably gonna get copyright strike. Boom, look! Old school RuneScape, and now my green screen's all messed up. Woo! So, just so you know, yes, I do play old school RuneScape. I don't play very often, but I do play intermediate, like, between things. If I'm in a waiting room, or if I have to wait on things, I'll pull that up and I'll start grinding away. <coughs> You did the wrong outro. Um, Daniel. No, go go watch it again. I actually did the correct outro, and it was kind of on purpose. So, <laughs> uh, he's talking about inside the ninety thousand lumber special that I did. <laughs> this is the ninety thousand special, isn't it? Here, let's go change our background. Make sure that we don't log out. Ooh, there we go. Hold on. Lots of blue. <clears throat> All right, back to the questions. Uh, Daniel says, can you do a collab called Formation Horizon 4? It's amazing, I love you. I'll have to look it up. I'm not gonna give you a yes or no, but I will consider it. Formation Horizon 4, we'll have to check it out. Uh, but Butterman, nice content. By the way, I'm addicted, lol. My question is, how can I get into a server with you and or uh, sponsorship? and slash or what sponsorships do you prefer for YouTube? Okay, so let's answer the first question first. Um, nice content, by the way, I'm addicted. Uh, my question is, can we get into a server with you? Yes, as you can tell from the people that are inside the server right now, I do go and play on public servers all the time. They're probably chatting away up there and I hope it's good content. Um, but I mean, this, this is the 90,000 subscriber special. It's a huge thank you to you guys. Um, and we are 43 minutes in. I'm only, oh gosh, I would say one fourth the way down the page. This thing, it's, it's going to be a while. So just giving you warnings. I'm going to go for all of the questions, everybody that's made the question. And this, like any point after the time that I looked up the questions right now, there's no questions after that. So if you're posting it um, before a certain time, they're not going to be in there. I'm sorry. Um, uh, nice content, by the way. How do you get in the server with me? You can get in the server by joining me um, during those those times that I said. 8.30 p.m. Central Time to 12 o'clock Central Time. Uh, I'll be there somewhere. Next. Code, or sorry, GamerPH says, add friend me. No. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was really harsh. So the reason I don't add is because there's a limit of 200 people. My kids, Blobby, and collabs only. That's it. So... And every once in a great while, there's there's like uh, a friend giveaway that I actually do. So, um, if you follow me, I, I should be able to follow back, right? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Blaze Escape says, uh, "When do you make videos? I want to join you. 8:30 uh, p.m. Central Time to like midnight." All right, go back up just a little bit. There we go. Ask code. Um, when is the face reveal? When is the 
face reveal. Thank you so much for following me over there on, on Twitch. Um, not quite sure. Okay, guys, I said I was going to do it. If we reach 90,000 subscribers, I was going to do that face reveal. So here we are. We've got 90,000 subscribers. And... Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you for your question, but I, I think I got trolled on that one. Thanks, Chase. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, scroll down. I still, you still get a heart. You get a love. Uh, the music gag video game says, "Will you ever be doing any vlogs or Robux giveaway?" I just did a Robux giveaway last month, um, and it lasted for. F Four weeks in a row. It was, it was like an entire month-long Robux giveaway. Uh, I don't plan on doing one anytime soon. If we hit like 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, yeah, that definitely, I would warrant that as a reason to do a giveaway. But I don't see me getting 10,000 subscribers in two months. Um, just reality. Let this sit in. Um, but will I ever do vlogs? I've done vlogs before. They're kind of cool. Um, not too many people watch them. But... Um, it could be something that I would start on like one of my kids channels or like a alternate channel of some kind maybe um, this this channel is for me and from my gameplays like that's that's the reason I made my channel this is for me yeah that's it's original reason I don't even think my kids were born yet that or my daughter was like a newborn she wasn't even one so no that's not true she was born in okay mm-hmm no personal information so, I'll have to think about that. Hmm. Okay. Good question. Golden Boy Hero. Uh, can your kids play with you? Yes, my kids can play with me. And for some reason you have a remove this comment above your name. I don't know why that's up there, but that's fine. Uh, can I play with my kids? Yes, my kids can come play with me. Um, normally they are in bed by the time I start recording because we play together like before dinner and then it's dinner. T like my day is very busy, um, which is no excuse. I mean, I should be able to play and record with my kids at nighttime, but my kids and I, we all have ADHD together. So when you get three people with ADHD together playing a video game and getting excitable, the content doesn't usually go as well as it should. And that happens more often than not. Especially with my, my son and me, because we feed off each other's ADHD. And it gets to the point where, like, both of us are antagonizing each other. <sighs> Which is good content, but that's not what my channel's about. I want it to be good, wholesome, fun content. So, that's, that's, okay. So, can I play with my kids? Yeah, I'll I'll try and do, do more. Uh, don't hold me to that, because that... Uh, that takes a lot of energy, just saying. All right, hold on. Doreen, ask, um, how do you get money so fast? I want the power. Um, do lava wood and do ice wood. Ice wood because of the amount of money you get. Lava wood because of the amount you can get to sell off. Um, and just ask. Don't, don't, don't ask a whole bunch of people. Like, please, 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 please. Don't do that. Don't do that. But if you happen to have friends say, hey, can you help me out, you know, actually hanging out and, and doing runs, like doing a ice runs that help you out to get up to that, that marker. Um, splitting, splitting up the workload. Have one person up there chopping stuff down, have another person running it to your base, have a third person selling it off. That's like a really good technique. Keep that going. Um, what is your favorite... Oh, sorry. What is your favorite... Oh, that, sorry, that was Doreen. Spooky Serpent 2525 says, What is your favorite base or build in lumber? And sorry about your car crash. Oh, thank you. Um, my favorite build was the Samper Life Treehouse, just because it's, like, really, really cool. Um, my second favorite is my mainstay base, like, the, the main one on my Code Primate account, because it's so massively huge. Wow. It's just awesome. And it's got a whole bunch of history to it. Like, I've got names from famous YouTubers and, and just... It's really good. Uh-oh, somebody's talking. <sighs> I'm so sad. Sir Code, please, he's busy. Why is it taking so long to load? Well, I'm doing a special. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, I'm in a game, not playing or not talking. <sighs> 
Bad code. Bad, bad code. Amanda Sutton says, can you play a game with me? Yes, follow me in um, my normal times. So we can we can absolutely play, but you gotta follow me in. Uh, a lot of these questions look like they're gonna start repeating. So Keith Wesby says, uh, why did you start YouTube? Because of my kids. And do you have children? Because you look like you would be a great dad. Oh, thank you. That's a good question. Yes, I have two children, um, Hope and Oliver. They are um, 11 and eight years old. They will be turning 12 and nine soon. And yes, we do enjoy, like, go watch my Draw My Life. You'll you'll love it. Um, what motivated you to start YouTube? Um, what motivated me to start YouTube itself was the Second Life, showing the products that I wanted in Second Life. What started me, what motivated me to start kid-friendly uh, gameplay content? My kids, definitely. What motivated me to start Roblox content? Blobby. That's kind of how it felt. Because before then I was doing uh, like tutorials and hypnosis and, and programming things. So I got tired of seeing seeing all the, the I don't want to say bad content. I don't want to say like non-family friendly content. That was the main thing. <clears throat> Haw Plays says, um, what is your most memorable moments in Lumber slash Roblox? I would say um, most memorable would be playing his sample life, hitting that guy that was coming down from the volcano and throwing him off into the lava. That was like one of the most memorable. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was, it was unexpected. It was fun. And that was back whenever sample life was still anonymous. So, um, I would say my other memorables are playing with, um, dig dug mummy and, um, dark J. Those, those are some of my most memorable ones. Uh, and that goes for Creativerse, and that goes for just hanging out. It's just, that's the main one, my friends inside Roblox. The other memorable ones are like um, all, all my admins that I've ever played with inside my Discord. Um, Grammy, Baby Girl, um, Miss Joe, Eminem, uh, Big Rebel. Like, and there's, there's a bunch that I'm going to miss, but like all of you guys just hanging out, having fun, and that was... That was some good times. Having the late night way back whenever I could still stay up and, you know, go the entire night and, and wake up with an hour of sleep and still function properly. Those were the most memorable because I had fun. And I still I still have fun, but it was it was intense because like we still didn't know quite everything about lumber. So there you go. Um great question, Hall Place. Uh, Gavin Johnson with the Cineac face says, how is Liz and your kids doing? They're doing awesome because they got the early release today and they, they got to come home because it was snowing. Um, Liz is doing awesome because tomorrow is her last chemo treatment. So we are going to go to the chemo and she's a big celebration. It's her last one. Yay. So we, it's something after this, but I mean, this is the finish of a very long journey that she's been on so far. So, um, they're doing great. And I'm doing great as well. We're just, we're in a really good place. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Um, great question. Timothy David, what time do you get on Roblox? 8.30 p.m. Central Time to 12 o'clock Central um, Midnight. Um, Aljoe Flores? <clears throat> um, one, how does, uh, how ADHD occurs? Offended, I'm sorry, not offended at all. ADHD is usually a hereditary thing that gets passed down. There are certain cases where um, portions of the brain don't get fully developed and cause um, ADHD, which is attention deficit hyper disorder. Um, one of the main causes is passing down. It's hereditary. Um, I inherited mine from my father and I gave it to my kids. So um, I don't know who on my grandmother's or grandfather's it was probably my granddad um Lexi Haskins <sighs> oh my goodness um, it may have been my grandmother now that I think back but it was definitely my dad my dad is who I inherited it from so if you have a parent who may seem like they have ADHD and I mean most likely they, they do have ADHD 
Um, what is the fastest way to make money in LT2? Right now, it seems like Icewood. Icewood seems like the best bet for making cash money moolah. Um, does it compete with Firewood? Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Okay, this is this is a big question, but it's from Moolong55. First of all, I believe that in two years, you will have 400,000 subscribers. I know that seems like a lot, but at this rate, I think you it, think it is an accurate number. Who knows? Maybe it will be more. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Maybe it will be more. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're about to hit the 60 minute mark. Uh, and we are about one third away down the page. So I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to speed this up because there, there are a lot of questions. Maybe a little bit more. First off, I have two questions. First, or one, I know that you've said before, but what do you use when you change the brightness and stuff? Um, okay, there is a, a thing called filters on OBS. You right click on the source. Okay, so you've got your scene. My main scene is called Roblox. And then my source is called uh, robloxgame.exe launcher, something like that. Right click on that, I hit filters, I add a filter called color correction, and then you can adjust the brightness and the gamma. So what you're seeing on screen doesn't actually happen to the game itself. The game looks normal. Like if I'm looking at the screen uh, of, of Roblox, it looks dark, I, I can't see it. I actually have to look over at OBS and that's where the color correction gets fixed. Next question two, how many doors do you need to get to Palm Island? If you're coming from slot one, two, three, if you're coming from um, plot five, it takes 256 doors to go across, but that also means that you're going to go through the thing. Um, if you're going from plot six, seven, or nine, it takes incrementally more to get across. So you're gonna have to have anywhere from 256 to, uh, let's see, 50 more doors. 350. So 256 to 350, somewhere around in there. I'm going to give you a 100 door difference because it takes, let's see, it's four units per door. You're only going three units at a time. So, yeah, it's a long ways away. <laughs> uh, need to get, okay, how many doors do you need to get to Palm 1? That's all. But if you ever reach 1 million, remember me, edit ha ask code. You get a heart. And then it's next up, oh gosh. Go back up. Timothy David, can you help me in lumber, please? My name is uh, my name in Roblox is Timothy YD14. I'm glad that you didn't get hurt. He's talking about the crash. Timothy, thank you so much. I can't personally help you out, but I'm sure there's a hundred billion people here. Uh, oh, ninety thousand. <laughs> I'm sure there's ninety thousand people here that would be more than willing to message you on your name and give you some money or give you some items and help you out, Timothy. So look at that. Look what I just did. Okay, uh, Diane Twelve Dog Lover. Any tips for new YouTubers? Yes, record 15 minutes to 30 minutes at a time. Record daily on a daily basis. Record what you like. Make sure that there's a face cam. Make sure that you're over the age of 13. That way you don't have your YouTube taken away from you. Microphone, headphones. That's it. Record what you love. Um, and stop looking at the sub count. Don't look at your sub count. All right, at milestones you can look at it, but. If you are on an analytics thing, I don't want to call it a trip, um, analytics binge, literally on my phone, my analytics are there, and I have to force myself not to look at it every hour. Like, I, I will check it in the mornings, I'll check it in the afternoons, and I set myself a time, because I was. I was watching that thing on a daily basis. I'd go out to Social Blade, i put up the live count, and I'd set it next to my computer, and I'd watch it the whole day. I wouldn't get anything done. So don't look at your sub counts. It is a trap. <clears throat> and it's also not the, the reason to do, like just to do, just to get subs is not the reason to do um, YouTube. Okay, well, all right, let's go down here. If you wanna get popular, do something like Twitter or, or Instagram. <laughs> That's different. Uh, oh gosh, they're asking questions. Oh my gosh, hi, hello. So they're, I, I'm still inside here. Can I chop this? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the trees are humongously awesome. Okay. Let's zoom back in. Zumba. <laughs> 
Um, Wilcon says, can we do a cast? <coughs> can we do a co-cast for the Christmas, please? Um, if you're talking about like collab, I think that's what he meant to spell is collab and it went co-cast. Um, if you want an immediate answer, it's no. I haven't checked out your channel at all. Um, I will come back to yours afterwards and kind of take a look. But immediate answer is no, because I do my collabs at random, and I usually check for content first, which means that you have to be family friendly, no curse, no cuss, and at least have like a microphone. So, all right, next, Lord Wicked, Lord Wicked, what PC do you use? Um, right now, it's a Cyber Power PC. It's literally Walmart bought, and I wouldn't have bought it from Walmart because I never buy anything from Walmart that's like computer related. Normally I like build my own or I go out and I do stuff like Newegg. But they had something that was within my price range. It was pre-built. I'm like, eh, do I really want to mess with like building everything? No, not this time. And I went and bought it and it's been like one of the best PCs so far. Um, Foxy Plays ask, Code, will you ever buy your dream car? Um, I did. Actually, I already bought it. It was, uh, it was the Kia Spectra. I mean, I, it was 2006, and I bought it like a long time ago. Now, if you're talking about my fantasy car, my fantasy car it would be a Lamborghini uh, Diablo. Definitely a Lamborghini Diablo. Something, something Lamborghini. Anything Lamborghini. If you guys want to send me a Lamborghini, that'd be awesome. i uh, not saying that I'd ever get one. Tesla is, is like the next level. But that's my ADHD talking. So, I mean, you know, I'd be okay with a Mazda. I mean, I'm not big picky on cars. Viper Sniper says, on karaoke night, can I play my saxophone instead of singing? Yes, you can, except you broke your reed. Um, we tried to get that set up for you, I remember. So, Next, uh, have any tips to be a millionaire on lumber? Yeah, become a YouTuber and have lots of fans give you money. I'm just kidding. That's, that's what happens to me all the time. Um, to become a millionaire... Grind. If you're looking to solo this thing, grind, grind, grind. I'm talking eight hours a day, seven days a week for the next year, and you could get to, like, a lot of money. Because it's it's a grind. Um, great question, Dark. Dark Ignition. I went ahead and hearted this one as well. Uh, minor players, have you ever played Lumber Tycoon modded before? Um, I have gone into the different um, stolen versions of Lumber Tycoon 2 to basically report them. But, um, yes, I have gone into them. No, I don't play them. Um, I don't feel like it's... If Defaultio had opened it up to uh, copy lock and allowed people to take copies of the game, that's one thing. He didn't. Somebody went in there and stole it, somebody leaked it, somebody, something happened where the source code of his game got released and all these other ones started popping up. I let him know and he says, dude, it's like common knowledge now. I can't, I can't stop it. And people keep perpetuating it by playing more of the stolen games. So am I ever going to play one? No. For Defaultio, I'm going to stick with actual Lumber Tekken 2. And the reason I do that for him is because I've seen what's happened with all the mods over the years. I've also seen what's happened with dupl uh, duplicators and with cheaters and with exploiters. Like that's, I feel, I feel so strongly because he made an amazing program. He made an amazing game, and I think that Lumber Tycoon Two, or Lumber Tycoon modded and Lumber Tycoon Editor's Edition, I think those are stealing from him. But that's my own personal belief. Don't take that as my influx to anybody else. And I'm not flexing. I promise. I am not trying to flex. Just saying, that's what happened. Was this source code got out and a whole bunch of other people started making it pop up. And if you ask them, hey, did you program this yourself? You made this from scratch? The answer is no. They did not. So, that's how I feel. <sighs> Sorry, I feel very passionate about it too. <clears throat> Smart Rock 499. When did you start Lumber Tech in 2? Um, when Blobby said I should record it. And can I get a shout out? Shout out to Smart Rock 499. Go check out his channel. He's awesome. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> but you got a shout out. So there you go. Uh, Sabby Dabby Doo. I think it was Scooby Dooby Doo. Uh, if there's. Uh, if there's at least three things that you want permanently added to LT2, what are those things? 
permanently added to the lumber. Um, I would say a picture that you could buy of my face <laughs> in in the paint shop. It, just my logo would be awesome. <laughs> ten, ten million dollars. I get it cut at ten percent. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Default here. Don't do that. Um, actually, if you want to, go ahead. I don't mind. Uh, no, a picture of like YouTubers. If if you could go and purchase your favorite YouTuber and slap it on your wall, I think that would be a great addition. Uh, something else that I would really like is um, the ability to copy and save wiring. So like whenever I do a signature, I could copy that. And as long as I've got three wires, I could open up the wires and it's, it says something like, hey, you'll need three wires to do this. You place the wire frame onto the wall and then you place like you pick up a wire and place it just like if you were to fill in a blueprint. It says, hey, I need three wires to do this. You pick up the three wires and place them in and it would it would create the wire for you. That would be an amazing addition. Uh, as far as a third permanent thing, um, I would say finish out the ocean because it's it's just open on the, the northeast side. So it's it. If you've ever traveled past the ocean or if you've ever gotten glitched out, you can see that there's more space to like build. I would love to see additional uh, biomes pop up and some boats. So, and the boat thing that's been forever. So, <laughs> Z-Boy, ask, uh, can you friend me? My name is B Squad Master. New. Um, unless we were to do a collaboration, you're one of my kids or Blobby. That's the only way. All right, uh, let's go that way. And back to the comments. Oh my goodness, we're halfway, guys. We just reached the halfway mark, and we are an hour into recording. Oh my gosh. <sighs> my ADHD is just going crazy because I don't like to read. I'm sorry. I, I really don't like reading, but here I am. Uh, Code, can you do a Draw My Life or even a Draw My Life in Lumber Tycoon 2? I already did a Draw, draw My Life. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one. Uh, code, can you, or sorry, not code, can you do a massive giveaway in Lumber Tycoon 2 because you have so much stuff and other subs want them while others dupe them? Um, yeah, I can do some Lumber Tycoon 2 giveaways themselves if you want. That's a great suggestion. Thank you. Uh, Rain, Rain Furry Gaming. Daniel Fowler, dude, there's like four questions now. Uh, three days ago says, can you give me a shout out or show my channel? Uh, and ask to sub to me, sub on you live stream. Uh, not on my live stream, but I can do it during a 90,000 subscriber special, if you'd like. Daniel Fyler. Let's go check out his channel. Shout out to Daniel. There we go. 90YT. 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 <laughs> that's, that's supposed to be YouTube, but 90. Uh, will you do Python or any other code programming tips tutorials and tips and tutorials i um yes after the book comes out uh and then there's some stuff here translate here's some binary for you i think that's right i sent it to you on twitter all right hold on i'm not sure if this is going to work correctly um been to ascii uh, converter. Been to ASCII converter online. So I don't, I don't know if this is going to work correctly. All right, I'm going to just copy this over. Copy. Uh, binary values. Convert. It says code eight. So uh, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's what it says. So it goes from this binary to here. So code eight. Uh, if you were wanting to do like code prime eight uh, let's see let's take this value out and let's do code code prime eight and convert invalid binary string oh it can't go backwards what kind of website is this get out of here <laughs> thank you so much 90 yt for your your um, question uh, you get a heart get a heart there you go uh, note I sent this to you on Twitter oh sweet I think I saw it maybe I don't remember all right, Kyodri83 says, how does the bridge to plan work wood, wait, how does the bridge to plan wood work? How does the bridge to palm wood work? Uh, the bridge to palm work works 
the pump works works because there is a little glitch of an attachment that happens inside the doors themselves. Um, there is a swivel kind of thing. So that swivel or that that hinge actually attaches to the hinge below it. And that hinge attaches to the hinge below it. That's why you always have to be offset by one unit so the doors clip each other and they get attached. Uh, it's also a thing with um, Roblox. Whenever you res in things really fast. I think I have an example of it. Uh, I do have an example of it. Whenever, okay, so if you happen to buy my book and you happen to see the, the GUI section where I show you can click and it creates a thing inside the world, if you click that button really fast, the blocks will res and attach to themselves. And it's, it's, a, it's a property of Roblox. It's not a property of lumber itself. It's something that happens inside Roblox. And I happen to find, like, Okay, I didn't find it. Somebody else showed it how it was working. I happened to optimize it. So I found out the, like, turn the doors like this. Because it was stacking the doors like this, and then you'd have a bridge. And I found that you could do with the first door like this and stack the rest of the doors like this. So. And I was covering up the microphone. So it sounds sounds funny. I'm testing one, too. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm loving these questions, you guys. Extreme Cookie Girl says. <clears throat> Uh, when were you born? 1983. No, 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 1981. My wife was born in 1983. I was born in 1981. What is your favorite animal? The heffalumps and woozles. Uh, no, uh, I don't really have a favorite animal. Sugar gliders are amazing. I think those things are adorable. Um, why did you start YouTube career? I started YouTube originally for Second Life. Um, I can like I actually started in on the YouTube YouTube stuff because of my kids um, When did you make your first video back in like 2005 2007? Uh, if you're talking about like my first first video, it was on a v VHS camcorder Back when I was little uh, And if you want to go to my actual first video that I ever appeared in I was three years old eating an popsicle on the back porch and my mom recorded me with a eight millimeter um, camcorder it's somewhere I know it's around here but it's like there's no sound to it it's literally that old it's an old camcorder anyhow um, when did you make your first video okay that's kind of a loaded question are you my friend I would say so yeah uh, I don't think I'm your friend on Roblox, but uh, Extreme Cookie Girl is the one that keeps tasering me inside um, Jailbreak. So she is the official taser girl. Uh, edit, your outro was awesome. Oh, thank you. She's talking about the 90,000 um, lumber bridge thing that I did. Okay. Boop. Uh, Thunderson Fu Hong says, can I collab with you? We have the ability to collab, but I don't know what your channel content is about. And I've seen your um, your tweets, DMs, and comments. So yes, I've I've seen you before, and you've asked multiple times. I'm gonna say the same thing. My collabs are mostly random, and um, it just happens. So thank you for your question. Moving on, Keith Marquis. I hope I said that right, Marquis. Uh, why do you play Roblox on such an age? Um, because I'm a gamer for life, and what that means to me is I'm going to be playing games until the day I die. Which is going to be long before you say that I'm old. So, um, okay, that was a little bit of an offensive question, but at the same time, I don't see an age limit for video games. There is an age limit for Roblox, but if you go look at the year that you can put like the last year that you possibly put it puts you at like 290 or something like that so stop it go play video games and don't let anybody stop you code uh are we getting turkeys this year yes maybe i know that we're definitely getting uh cranberry sauce matthew mclean vlogs thank you so much for your question golden duck what do you use for your videos i use obs to record whenever i do edit i use blender 3d those are both open source free programs you can download anytime. Beat Lovingson says, What is your favorite food? Barbecue. <laughs> Anything barbecue. I love barbecue. 
Uh, good CDG says, can I be in your Q&A? Absolutely. There you are. You're in the Q&A. <laughs> I think you meant, like, in the game, but, I mean, I'm not really in the game. It's, I take a long time to read, so I'm sorry. Uh, Doggo YT says, can you make a video on how... Wait, can you make a vid on how to make a waterfall on lumber? Yes, I could, but do I have time or will I? I don't know. Maybe. Someday. What I'd really like to do is do one with a whole bunch of um, one by one wood blocks, blue blocks, cover it all up, have a conveyor system and that makes it look like it goes into like a rocks kind of thing, and then the all, all of them come down onto the conveyor and there's so many of them that it covers up the conveyor itself so you can't tell that there's a conveyor and they all like move through the thing and then they go underneath like a little cave and then come back up in a little system that puts them onto the waterfall again i think that would be amazing but that's just me and you can do it if you want to but it's a thought i, I think there would be a lot of lag there'd be a lot of physical parts moving next Alex Collins says, what is the best way to start Lumber Tycoon 2? I'll purchase a, a um, basic hatchet. Uh, go watch Samper Life, my first video ever. It shows you how to get started, best ways to do it. I think the only thing I didn't do differently back then was selling off the sign. Once you get your piece of land, sell the sign. Um, who from... Oh, thank you, Alex Alexander Collins. Uh, Camel... Be Perry, Be Perry, Be Perry. I still don't know how to pronounce your last name. Anyhow, uh, who is Samper Life for your new viewers? Samper Life was me starting out making an alternate character that I didn't want anybody to know about, and just it was going to be for me to go into public servers and show you how to get started and how to play Lumber without any outside influences. People found out the name pretty fast. I think by episode 22. But if you go watch Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, the Samper Life series, the first episode, it will explain everything. Um, but that's who Samper Life is. He's a bacon here. Ares, Ares says, what is your favorite item in Lumber Tycoon 2? Um, favorite item. Don't know. I mean, I, I don't have any one specific thing that I like more than anything else. I would say I'll go with fire axe. We'll go with fire axe because it's the one specialty axe that like was so worth getting it back in the day. So, and it's still amazing because it still has the particle effects. Uh, code, what should you do if one of your friends turns to duping LT two? Um, it, okay, if it's your friend, ask your friend to stop. If they don't, technically they're cheating, and. Do you want to be friends with a cheater? My answer is no. But at the same time, do I know people that dupe? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I catch them duping right in front of me, I would report them 100%. You can also ask, like, I've had people that were inside my Discord server that I found out that they were exploiting, and I ban them, and I report them. And, I mean, they're these are my friends. And I even message them. I'm like, don't take this the wrong way. I don't want you to think that this affects our friendship, but I have to report you. And it's their choice if they want to stay my friend or if they want to go off and be mad about it. Because you got caught doing something that you weren't supposed to do and then one of your friends reports you, if you're the one doing the cheating, don't get mad. You brought it upon yourself. <sighs> Sorry, that's from a correctional officer standpoint. That's from me. So I, I have a problem with people who like take advantage of games, especially Fortnite aimbots. Ugh. <laughs> Good question, by the way, Camel. Thank you so much. Uh, Wilson299 says, will you make any other videos when a new game comes out? Yes. Um, actually, I'm waiting for Defaultio's newest game, the Projute thing, to come out. I'm, I'm ready, Defaultio. You've been doing this thing. You s said you were going to release it last year, just before Christmas. We never got it. Come on. Come on, man. I know there's... There, Put lumber off to the side for a second. We can come back to lumber. Get this game done. Let's do this. Let's get it done before Christmas, okay? Uh, will you ever do any other new games when they come out? Yes. Yes, I will. Um, 
what is your favorite build in Lumber Tycoon 2? It's my treehouse. Samper Life treehouse. That's from Toxic Zunes. It's like nouns, only Zunes. Optimum Speed says, uh, if you could send me a message to the entire world, what would it what would you say in 30 seconds? Stop fighting. Love each other. And just because somebody believes differently than you, or somebody looks differently than you, or somebody does something differently than you, doesn't give you the right to tell them that they're wrong. Don't push your beliefs onto someone else just because they don't believe in the same thing that, that you believe in. Love each other. Like, our whole purpose, the, what I truly feel is that you are supposed to love one another. And it's not in um, a relationship kind of way of, like, <laughs> love is not gender specific. I don't want you to think that I'm, like, saying love in the wrong context because I love you guys I love my wife I love my kids I love the world I love the games I love Defaultio I love I love my microphone but all of them are a different kind of love and I want the point to be absolutely clear that you can love someone and dislike what they've done or what they do but that doesn't give you the right to like push them into being a specific way I hope that was 30 seconds. <laughs> Good question, Optimum Speed. Uh, the Roar 176 says, "Would you? Uh, what would you be doing if you weren't a YouTuber? Also, um, what inspired you to become a YouTuber? My kids inspired me to actually push forward and start making content, clean, family-friendly content. What would I do, be doing if I wasn't doing YouTube? Programming. I would be making video games. Uh, in fact, I've, I've thought about it multiple times of just dropping the YouTube gig and going in and just doing straight video games on Roblox. Um, not going to do that. I love making content too much. I like playing video games more than I do making them, although I'm really good at making them too. Um, I just can't complete task, <laughs> which is also why I don't have a completed game yet. But I have multiple um, starts to games, which I'd love to finish one day. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to get retired. Oh, man, could you imagine that? Just be retired all day long, sitting in front of a computer, programming, having fun. Oh, man. A lot of people are like, I'm going to go play bridge. I'm going to travel the world. My wife wants to travel the world once we're done, and I'm cool with that. I, I hope we have enough retirement money and enough funds, and I hope the kids are in a good place that we can take off and go see Europe and all these different places. That's my plans. Uh I'll continue to... I'll be making videos when I'm 97 years old. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. You can call me Granddaddy Code if you like. I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Uh, did we scroll? Did... Uh, what were you doing? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Roar. And next is Inquire Men... Medina. Equ... Enrique... I don't know what Medina um, are there turkeys coming probably I'm not going to say yes because I, I don't know for sure but um, it's consistent with what's happened with the last two years so what is your favorite item on Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, Fire Axe we'll just go with that because I don't really have a favorite um, will you make Roblox studio, video, studio videos yes Caleb I will uh, that was sorry that was from Medina Patriot 483 and Caleb Oh my gosh, this is like the longest video ever. Uh, Nicholas Roland says, uh, Have you heard of YouTuber Rufus West? He is the he only has 100 subscribers, but he makes very cool videos about modding trees and wood. This YouTuber is an expert on modded sawmills in Lumber Tycoon 2. You should check him out. Thank you, Nicholas Roland. Uh, shout out to YouTuber Rufus West. Uh, go check him out. Apparently he does awesome wood videos. So, I like modded wood. <clears throat> Wolves are lit. Uh, I need to tell you something. Can you friend me so we can talk? Uh, so we can talk. You can. I'm friend me after. If you want my user is speak death. No. Um. Sorry. If you want to send me a message, then you can. You can either get with my my admins inside my Discord, or you can try and tweet at me on Twitter. 
But as far as like friending just to give you a message, not happening, guy. I'm sorry. There's too many, like what are you gonna tell me? Like I just want to tell you you're awesome. No, not happening. Too many things have happened like that. Buzzing gamer. Oh my goodness, you've got a lot of questions. Um, buzzing gamer, you've got a lot of questions in here. So let's just go through them. For your live stream, sorry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta move. Gotta move. Gotta make sure we don't get disconnected. Woo! There we go. Mm, he said he's reading questions. I don't know. Yeah, I am. I'm still reading. <sighs> One hour and twenty-five minutes into it. This is like three times the length of my normal videos, by the way. Uh, for your live stream, will you be changing uh, the zombies for Twitch notifications? Will you be changing the zombie for Twitch notifications? Mm hmm. Maybe. Uh, Ask code 40, uh, 48M says, what is your favorite present on Lumber Tycoon 2 you own? Uh, I own all the presents. Um, what is my favorite present? It had to have been the, the box present. Oh, no, 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 I take that back. That's not my favorite. My favorite present. I don't know. I don't, don't really have a favorite present. Just because it's still boxed up. <laughs> um, let's go with Cole Gift. The Cole Gift was a pretty amazing little thing. All right. Next, uh, are you ready for Christmas? You got everything you need? Yes, I am ready for Christmas. And yes, we do have everything we need. Next, uh, will you ever try to make your own type of Lumber Tycoon 2? I've thought about it, and in fact, I was I'm thinking about it today, making some way of doing like an axe and tree collection, but I don't want to do it in the style of Lumber Tycoon 2. I would like to do it in the style of um, RuneScape the way that RuneScape does it, because I really like their system and I like the, their skill leveling thing. Um, next, what's it like working in the Marines? What's it? What was it like working in the Marines? It was fun. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun. Um, there were some scary moments, and I'm not gonna lie, those still stick with me to this day. There's still things that I think about whenever I'm falling asleep at nighttime and with the scary music in the background that makes it a very emotional subject to talk about right now but know that I had a lot of fun and it was it was good because I met a lot of people a lot of friends made a lot of relationships and I got to meet the Okinawans I love you guys Japanese Okinawans are very humble very very humble. Okay, <clears throat> Buzzing Gamer, what is your idea for a hundred thousand, a hundred K special? Um, I'm gonna run around and start screaming one hundred thousand at everyone. <laughs> that's that's my idea. So I was thinking about like having me sitting here, showing the number, showing the number, and then finally when it kicks over to a hundred thousand, instead of being like really intense, it's me going. And then all of a sudden it shows me running around with my camera and like I'll go wake up my kids and be like 100,000 subscribers. And then like go to my wife, wake her up, 100,000 subscribers. And then be like driving through Chick-fil-A and being like, yeah, can I get a little, little, little and do my order? And then when they say, can I get a name for the order? Yeah, make it out to 100,000 subscribers, please. <laughs> Doing stuff like that. And then going to the mall and shouting out can I get your attention, please? Blah, blah, blah. And give him, my name's Heath Haskins. And then, like, I'm going to record just a segment video on the count of three. I want you all to scream out, 100,000 subscribers. Ready? And then, like, having them record that segment. Like, I've got a whole bunch of ideas. And then, like, me skipping through Walmart going, 100,000 subscribers. And then, like, doing a run through just ideas. Okay, I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but that's my idea for it is literally running around and just screaming 100,000 subscribers at everybody. <laughs> walking up to like one of the, and I would have to do it to somebody that I know, but walk up to one of the Green County officers <laughs> and like slap him on the butt and say 100,000 subscribers and then start taking off running as fast as I can. <laughs> Make sure that's somebody that I know so I don't get in too much trouble. But anyhow, I, I probably won't do that one, but that's an, it's an idea that I have, so. That or like whenever you're asked to sign your name, on something, I'll like sign 100k. It's it's a thought. Making the 100,000 a very special special is going to be top 
notch. Thank you for your questions. LT2 Nutter says, um, just wanted to say hi and say to remember to be you and play what you want. Smile and take care. Hugs and kisses. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Hold on, I'm taking a look. I'm getting sad because I has to go. Oh, I told you guys it was gonna be a long special. <laughs> Uh, by the way, just a reminder, we're like an hour and a half into these questions. You can go if you need to. Pause the video, favorite it, come back. We'll, we'll be here. I'm going to be here reading all of these questions. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, code, uh, what advice do you have for me? I had a slot one that was reserved and it's not been thought of by default yet. It's not been thought of by default yet. My in-game name is Stevefuse underscore Walter, uh, and sorry to hear about the car crash. Also, what's it like being the best LT2 YouTuber? Uh, okay, first off, give you a like, or give you the heart. There is a form that you can fill out. Um, you can find it inside my Discord. You can also ask it to me on Twitter. Somebody will respond with the uh, correct form. Um, fill out the form, and he does restores of bases, so make sure that you fill it out correctly. Next, um, Thank you about the car crash and best LT2 YouTuber. I don't know. Um, thank you. <laughs> I know I do a lot of LT2. I don't know if I'm the best, but I will. I will claim the title best LT2 YouTuber. Of course, I'm not going to hold that title because there's probably going to be somebody coming up behind me real fast. Who knows? Uh, Logal five. Logal five. Um, can you do lumber special with Dig Dug Dark J and maybe Intel plays in the background feeding the almighty river? I <laughs> don't so Maybe? If they want to do a collaboration and, and throw that all together, we could probably do something. Sorry, I just scratched my nose. That indicates lies. Uh, no, I really do. I really do have a, a tickle that's going on. Um, lumber special. Yeah, I want to do a special with Dark J and with Dick Doug and with Intel Plays. But I mean, we'd all have to get together at the same time. The problem is scheduling. Scheduling is getting harder because of real life and jobs. And it happens. Family first. Uh, Goen says, Goen is Zazaga, is Zazaga. Says, uh, when will you ever play with me, lol? <laughs> Whenever you follow me in. When did you start playing Lumber Tycoon 2? Uh, so when did you start playing Lumber? About three, three and a half years ago. When did you start playing Roblox? About three, three and a half years ago. How did you hear about Roblox? We watched Evan, uh, Ethan Gamer TV. We also saw FGTV, so. How did you hear of Lumber? It was just on the Populars page, and I went and played it, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing game ever. Thank you for your questions. Go and I also see you in the comments a lot of the time, so I remember the uh, the Heath Ledger face. I miss Lumber Tycoon 2 on my laptop. It just crashed and I can't play Cry Face. Question Q&A, why do you love Lumber Tycoon 2 so much? Because of the creativity that you can do to build pretty much anything and the constant, like, if, if I don't like the way something's built, it's because I built it that way. And there's always room for improvement. I mean, it's the, like one of the only games that's a tycoon that's not a tycoon. I mean, I hope that makes sense. Look, look at this. Look at this amazing blue wood that I'm sitting on. And it's, like, I've been standing on it the whole time, and it's not died yet. I, I don't think I've seen one piece of blue wood die. Does blue wood die is the question that I would like to ask. Anyhow, back to the, the comments. Thank you for your question. Um, I'm sorry about your laptop, by the way. Law and curd. Low end card. Uh, Geometry Dash Spectre says, What motivated you to do YouTube? Um, my motivation came from my kids because they were watching other YouTubers who would slip in curse words and cuss words and yell and scream and just go crazy. Mm -mm, not happening. Uh, thank you, by the way, for your question. Uh, Wolfie says, What got you into lumber or start playing? Uh, my kids. Uh, next is Robber Matter. What is your favorite game? Lumber Tycoon 2. If you're asking about my favorite game of all times, it has to be for the PlayStation 2 and it's Shadow of the Colossus. Um, they did a remake on it for the PlayStation 3, I think. Um, Hellboy Cole. Hellboy Cole. Hellboy Cole. Hellboy Cole. 
sounds... <laughs> I know you made that name just, like, sound tough, but... Hellboykel! Look out! Here comes Hellboykel! Sorry. Sorry. I'm not making fun of the name. I just... I said it in a way that made it sound funny. Um, what is a rough estimate of when you started playing Roblox? About three years ago. Three and a half years ago. Somewhere around in there. Q&A. Uh, can... Can I have my SIG back? Your signature. I had it a while back, but then I moved my base around and had to take it down, and now I really want it back. I would just make one myself, but it would be better from you. And I don't know how to make your signature. Uh, Blasted Gamer 26. The answer is yes. You have to follow me into game, and it has to be after the videos. But yes, I will get it back to you. If you follow me in and join me, join my game. Uh, Toxic Gaming, another question from you. Excellent. Will you ever play Fortnite with fans? Yes, I do play Fortnite with fans. I do solos most of the time to get my my things done, all the missions. So, uh, Gucci Gang Clouts says, I'm glad that you're okay from the car crash, but uh, are you... Are you from the East, and what time do you upload your streams? No, I'm from right in the middle of America. In fact, I'm from Missouri. Um, in fact, I'm from the city of Springfield. So, I mean, I, I give that stuff away all the time because I want you guys to send me, um, send me fan mail. Hold on, can I move that up a little bit? Let's, let's move that up a little bit. There you go. So if you want to send me fan mail, you can, and that is my address. It's a P.O. box. Sorry, not my address. Don't show up there and be like, oh, where's code? It's the post office. There's nobody there. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and by the way, if you do find out my real address, don't come up to my house. Because that's, mm -mm, you. Mm -mm, I like my privacy, please. I will meet up with you guys out at conventions and stuff. Don't come to my house. <sighs> sorry, that sounded very mean. Um, thank you for saying sorry about the, the car crash. I am okay. Am I from the East? No, I am from Central. Uh, and what time do I usually upload and play? Uh, I usually stream at 9.30 on Fridays and Saturdays. I do gameplays every day in between 8.30 p.m. and 12 o'clock Central Time. And that's Monday through Sunday. That's every single day of the week. So I'm there somewhere. Uh, and then thank you so much. Next question is from, and I can't read your name, I'm sorry. Unless it's meant to be upside down for some reason. I can't, I can't read it. Good job. My question is, how did you start your YouTube channel? Uh, it started back in 2005, 2007. I created it for um, Second Life, and it's evolved since then. It's been through multiple different changes. Uh, congratulations. This is from Anton Chili. Uh, congratulations on 90,000. Love the videos. Keep up the great work. Ask Code. Do you play any non-family friendly games? Yes, I do. I do play non-family friendly games um, because I'm adult and I like playing non-family friendly games um, it's because I'm uh, I'm an old school gamer. I like the the worst game that I ever played whenever I first started in on non-family friendly games was Mortal Kombat for the Super Nintendo because it had blood splatter. It was great blood splatter, of course, but it was still, when my mom found out about it, that was like, oh my goodness! Nintendo was like even pushing the limits of what was allowed on their consoles. So, but yeah, I do play uh, non-family friendly games. One of my favorite games is Watch Dogs and Skyrim. I really like Skyrim. Um, but, yeah, that's, I, I do play non-family friendly games, so... And Fortnite, you know, is for teens, right? You guys knew that. I mean, it's rated T for teens. But anyhow. Uh, are you going to start a new one-plot challenge? Probably not, unless it's in conjunction with somebody else doing one-plot challenges. Uh, sorry. M Maxer Haxers. Anton Chili. Maxer Haxers. Oh my gosh, guys. We're almost through it, and we're, like, just too shy of two hours. Uh, Strum Crazy says, Nice job, Code. Uh, hold on, I missed. Uh, nice job, Code. I've been watching since 8,000, and I'm so happy to see you grow. Q&A, what is your favorite type of wood? Uh, it's blue wood. Uh, palm, in between the palm wood and the blue wood, it's still blue wood. Just because it's. I like the blue glow. It's calming. And I don't know why. 
Because the blue wood doesn't really have anything special, except, like, I know what you had to do to get it. So, okay. <clears throat> what is your favorite car brands? Um, MDI Air Cars. If you want to know my honest truth of what I love seeing, MDI Air Car. And MDI, if anybody knows MDI, or if you work for MDI, or if you, like, can get a hold of MDI, I really want one of your cars. So I'm, I'm looking for a car right now. Send me send me a car for free, please. <laughs> I will advertise it. I, I will do vlogs on your MDI Air Car. It is a car that runs on compressed air. What? Yes, and they, they're really dorky, okay? But they're very econ economic, 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 whatever. Anyhow, um, yes, MDI Air Car is my favorite car so far um but that's just because of what it's doing if there were other air cars i probably would find one that would fit my style uh because it's all air and there's no combustion or fire um they don't use metal parts so it can be very light in fact i could probably pick up one of these cars and just like move it with my hands that's it's amazing okay enough about that thank you so much sigin gaming g for your question appreciate it Hi, how was your Halloween night? Uh, did you go trick-or-treating? Yes, we did. It was raining. It was crazy raining. But then um, we met up with a, a couple of our friends out in one of the old um, neighborhoods that I used to grow up in. And we ended up um, doing trick-or-treating around their place. It was raining the whole time. So, I mean, everybody got soaked. But we had so much fun. It was cold and chilly and fun. Uh, and it was trick-or-treating. And they got a lot of candy. I was amazed for the area that we were in, how much candy they got. And then... The high schoolers were actually doing um, one of their senior trips, and for one of their senior projects, they did a haunted house, which you guys did an amazing job. Anybody that's out there in Rogersville and we're doing the, the thing, huge heart to you guys. Good job. You scared the poop out of my son. <laughs> and that's what the, the point is. So thank you for your question. Um, that was Zaxta. Zaxta. Uh, Mr. Sp Spaceman or Mrs. Paceman, <laughs> Mr. Spaceman, how does it feel to have ADHD and does it disturb your normal day? Um, how does it feel to have ADHD? I don't know. That's my every single day. Every day I'm constantly doing exactly what I'm doing now. It's just rambling on and telling stories and doing things. And you think about things really fast. Does it disturb your normal day? Yes. Well, no, it doesn't disturb my day, uh, but it does disturb other people's days. <laughs> so um, the thing you have to understand about ADHD, it doesn't affect me so much as it affects other people because I tend to stop on projects. I tend to not finish a project and I have to be reminded to, hey, go back and finish the project. Oh, okay, got it. Sorry, ADHD moment. That's just something that happens. Um, but my ADHD, it, does it influence other people? absolutely it does it uh it definitely it does affect other people so uh disconnect let's join next time oh sorry guys this this is a really long video i do i do apologize make sure you grab your popcorn because we're still going we're going strong we're going to finish this out thank you for your question mr spaceman appreciate it uh, Dead X Place says, "Code, congratulations, Q and A. Can I make a video with you? My name is in my name in Roblox is Programming Six Five Nine. If you want to follow me in and do a video, like be in one of my videos, yes, absolutely. If you're asking for a collaboration, if you want my immediate answer, it's no, because I don't know what your content's about, and usually my collabs are at random." J Cram says, first off, congrats. Been a fan for a long time now. What?" Uh, made you decide to start uploading your gameplays to YouTube. Um, watching other, watching my kids look up content and finding bad, or I don't want to say bad, because it's not bad. Um, they're just cursed a lot, and they can't watch cursing videos. So, moving on. Thank you for your question, uh, Louis Dalgesh. Dalgesh. Uh, can you still use the attachment car glitch with control? You can still use the attachment. Uh, I just used it to get yellow wood. Thank you so much for your comment. Appreciate it. Uh, so the, the car glitch for shoulder attachment still works. Uh, Hot Rod Rhonda says, 
code one what are your favorite three car brands mdi air car um lamborghini and tesla there you go if you need the car brands um of course uh the concept car was the ford indigo and that was amazing if you google that thing that's woo. uh do you know how to use firearm properly yes i do in fact i taught people how to use firearms properly and i'm also an expert like major expert <laughs> i'm scary by the way i know i'm a family friendly youtuber that does kid content and stuff but i'm also i'm probably one of the most scariest people that you would ever meet in real life if you knew my back history so i mean think about it corrections for nine years marine corps for four years like think about it three what advice would you give to a recorder or streamer on youtube and twitch um when they first start consistency there are so many times that i hear somebody saying oh i just don't have time or i'm, I'm not going to be able to upload or, guys it is almost three o'clock in the morning on a day that i'm supposed to be working the next day and i'm still making content you have time I don't have time. I am fully full employee, uh, kids, family, wife, job, everything else. So unless you can top that, because I also used to, like, if you go back in my videos, I was still doing school and college. I was doing two different degrees, and I still found time to come in here and make content. So consistency every day, 15 to 30 minutes. Make sure you're using a voice because I don't want to read a video. Um, you don't have to do a face cam. Play what you like. Respond to your fans. And remember, you're never above anybody else. Ever. And don't ever think that you're going to become the best at something. Because the moment you do, somebody else has come out behind you. Somebody else is going to take your place. Just like I understand me, I'm not the best LT2 player. A lot of people are like, you're the LT2 god! No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to claim that title. I'm, I'm good, but I'm not the best. I won't be the best forever. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, so um, 15 to 30 minutes, record with voice, play the content that you love, and record. And avoid the hate. Don't listen to the haters. Thank you, Hot Rod Ronda, for your question. Dark Code. Q&A, how long did it take you to get 90,000 and make the door bridge? Uh, 90,000 has been over the course of three years, three and a half years, and it's all been mostly Lumber Tycoon 2 content. I mean, I did, I got to like 5,000 subscriber special before then, but it was really Lumber that took off, Roblox that took off, so. Um, and how many doors to get to the door bridge? If you're coming from plot five, which is like whenever you first start going around clockwise like this, um, the main one that you start on is on top of the hill, and then the next one's just across the street, and then the one's down, and then down and then over that's the fifth plot it's the one just before the one in front of the thing 256 doors is how long it took to get there 256 the reason i remember that number is because 256 is a memory um stick like it started 256 512 1028 or 1024 so 1024 megabytes of ram is a gig one gig and a four gig stick is four times 1024. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Code. Code. Uh, Adam Ultimate Gamer says, favorite axe design in Times Axe because it just uses the, uh, the skin from the Dark Pumpkin. I mean, that's the most brilliant thing that you could do. It's not even like a design. Congratulations on 90,000. Um, you are my favorite Roblox YouTuber. Thank you so much. How did you start playing Roblox? We started by seeing Ethan Gamer. Or, yeah, Ethan Gamer play it. Uh, sorry, this is from God Soul Knight. So, um, I think I've already answered that question pretty good. Thank you for your question. Uh, how did you start playing Roblox? Yeah, Ethan Gamer and then my kids. Um, congratulations, Code Priming. I like all your videos. Ask Code, how can I join slash play with you? Follow me in whenever I'm recording my normal times when between 8.30 and 12. Uh, Alexander AJ. Thank you. Did you get a heart? Yeah, you got a heart too. Uh, Alex Ivanov. Ivanov. Uh, will you do a giveaway for 90,000? I'm probably will. 
I don't know if it's going to be Robux or if it's like what it's going to be, but I'm going to do something definitely special. Um, oh wait, you said ninety thousand. I'm do I'm doing this for the ninety thousand. I don't know if I'm going to do. I I'll do like some lumber giveaways, maybe some pink trucks or something. Uh, okay. Real Patrick says, "How is it like living in America?" Living in America. By the way, Real Patrick K. I think that's. Isn't that um, real Patrick? I know you. Why do I know you? I think we've collabed. We may have collabed. Um, no, that's Percy Pete. Pete, 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 Patrick, real Patrick. Why do I know real Patrick? Mm, that's gonna bug me. I'll have to come back and look at it. How do you like living in America? I love it. Um, what do you want added to Lumber Tycoon 2? My face. Does Defaultio tell you secrets about LT2? Not in a way that would be revealing to most people, but do you think he entrusts me with trade secrets about the scripts and the codes and how the things work? Yeah, I would say so. Um, he doesn't come out directly and tell me, but like, I'll take my estimated guesses at knowing what programming is doing and knowing what the Roblox Lewis script is doing in the background. And I'll say, does it do this? And can you check this? And he goes, oh my gosh, yes, that was correct. So, um, does he reveal secrets to me? Like telling me directly like, yo, the golden axe is in. No, he doesn't do that. There's only one question that I've ever asked of him. And that was what the candy cane axe does. And I said, I asked him directly and I said, I promise I will never tell a living soul as, as far as you keep it a secret. I will never say what it does, but I, I gotta know. And he told me so. And to this day, I've never told another soul what the candy key next does. So, uh, Stefan Grant Grantham says, uh, all right, first off you get a heart. How can I get into one of my bases signed? I've been recommending you to all my older players. I come across, I keep, keep up the amazing work. You can get your base signed by following me into a game. And then after the video, I usually sign everybody's base. I don't know that I'm going to do it tonight because tonight, we're like three hours. <laughs> it's going to be a three hour video. I'm just kidding. We're, we're just about down here. Um, so yeah, just follow me in and I'll sign your base. Fezzik Jr., oh my gosh, the guy that does the catapults and the amazing builds and stuff and sent me a message. You are amazing and your children are amazing. Ch child. Child? Children. Ooh, can't remember. Anyhow. Um, what got you into Lumber Tycoon 2 in the first place? My kids. My kids um, drug me into Roblox. I, I wouldn't say drug. I basically dragged them into Roblox. Uh, so that that's what got me into playing Lumber Tycoon 2 was playing with my kids. The first game that I ever played was Escape the iPad or something like that, or Escape the iPhone. So that was the first one that I played. It was on mobile while we were out getting Chinese food. So the Joker says, uh, have you ever saw the Batman movies and did you like them? Yes. Um, my first Batman movie was The Dark Knight and it was played by Michael Keaton with, um, Nickel, Jack Nicholson, Nicholas, Jack Nicholas, for the Joker. So that was that was the first one, and then after that, it was uh, the Penguin came along, who was played by Danny DeVito, uh, and then that also had did that have the Iceman? Anyhow, it went on from there. First one was the original Batman. Uh, Mar, oh come on, Marvin the Chicken says. Code. Do you like chickens? Yes. In fact, we had a couple of, of chickens um, for pets because we won them at a carnival fair. And I told my children, look, we're going to have to give them away. Chickens do not live in houses and they don't live in bird cages. So <laughs> we ended up having a couple of chickens for a while. And then after, uh, after they grew up and become adolescents, we actually gave them away to um, some of our good friends who have a farm and they are still alive today. They are layer chickens. They lay eggs. They're not for grilling. They're not grilling chickens. So you don't eat them. And they're pets. They are good pets. So, uh, Code, whose fault was in the car crash? It was them. They rear-ended me on the highway. So, um, to their point, it was raining. 
it was over the top of a hill. It was on a highway that normally never stops. Uh, they had lanes blocked off three to four miles up ahead, which caused both lanes of traffic to com come to a complete stop. And like I said, we were it was raining and over the top of a hill. Um, I had trouble slowing down and stopping for the car in front of me. Um, but I also stayed back a good 15, 20 feet from the car ahead of me because I knew it was raining and I didn't want to do exactly what this guy just did to me. Um, there was a car in between him and I. The car that was in between actually slid off to the side and I heard heard the, the horrible noise in my, my ears. Just, and he went off to the side and the car behind him, which is a little red truck, just smashed into me. And it sent my car forward about 10 feet. And luckily I didn't not, I didn't hit the person that was in front of me. Um, so he did decelerate uh, a lot quicker than I thought he did. The damage was still intense. Like it, it totaled the car. The car is totaled. So anyhow, <clears throat> it was his fault. And their insurance has claimed it. Ace Trick Shot says, congratulations. Will you do more videos with your kids? Yes, absolutely. I will. Uh, Rinker Cantor. Riker Cantor. Um, I don't... I know you don't like saying if... Uh, saying, and if you don't answer, that's fine. But do you live in the Midwest? Yes, I live in Springfield, Missouri. So, I'll even get more specific for you. There you go. Uh... Dingo Ding Dang Dingo Ding Ding Dino Dang Dingo Dino Dang Dingo Dino Dang <laughs> uh, Ask code So a cheater puts tons of Plot Plus On my plot And it's all a big mess After my stuff and everything Can you tell a game developer to delete Latest save from my plot uh, No I'm not going to talk to the game developer Himself directly for you but you're more than willing to uh, welcome to um, to message Defaultio, letting him know what happened. Um, is that your question for the, the thing? It's a big mess afterwards. Developer loose version. Uh, else, I guess I can't play lumber. Clean up. It'll take a while, but you can do it. Just a few friends with one odd them and you can tell them better than I can by the way Roblox name is Sean Q K Sean Quick thank you for your question um but I'm not I, I no you can contact Defaultio like you can either tweet at him or you can send him a message of some kind um so you can send him messages on Roblox as well so super happy laser again what's your favorite candy flavor Oh, 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 I didn't dislike it. I promise. I didn't dislike it. What is my favorite candy flavor? I would just have to go with cotton candy. Cotton candy is my favorite candy flavor. Um, my other favorite is uh, there's these things called Charleston Chewies. And there's these bite-sized ones that you can get at the like the movie theaters. Uh, and the movie theaters are going away. But those were like the best. I don't oh, no. And it's just chocolate and this nougat. And it's just... Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Super Happy Laser says, Can you split the door bridge at the end so you only have to do the wide door bridge and it goes over the water? I don't I don't know. Maybe. Uh and then Tio Vico says, Do you have kids? Yes, I have two kids. Amazing, lovely children. Uh watch my um 5,000 subscriber, 5,000, 6,000 subscriber, draw my life special. You'll see, you'll see a lot of information in there. Joe P. <laughs> what is your favorite base um, that I've ever seen? Uh, should You should do a video about awesome bases that you have seen also. Um, I've, I can't name any one specific because there's been so many. Like There are a ton of amazing bases and it would be unfair to me to pick any specific one. Because, I mean, it ranges from pixel art it, to functionality to um, wiring to electronics to sound. Like, there are so many amazing bases out there. I just, I can't pick one individual. Sub670, why do you think, why 
did you think to do YouTube and who inspired you to do YouTube the most? My kids, my kids, and my kids. If you want to know the honest truth, what started it, um, it was me wanting to show things in Second Life. What perpetuated me moving forward was my kids' content. Them growing up and starting in on YouTube. So, uh, Code, ooh, okay, oh gosh. Thank you for your question, Sub. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, is it, I'm cutting that off. I'm gonna come down a little bit. And scroll. No, dang it. There it is. Woo. Okay. Gaming Express says, um, what do you do for your job? I am a computer programming analyst. Um, how long have you played Lumber? About three years, maybe three and a half. How old are you? I'm 36 years old. What will you do for a 100,000 subscriber special? I will be running around doing a, a special of me screaming 100,000 at people. Random people. So that'll, <laughs> that'll be fun. Uh, Thrush, Thrush says, uh, do you have pets? Yes, we have two parakeets or two budgies. Um, we have one beta. The other beta died. We have a dog, uh, Charlie Dog. I think that's it. Are those all the pets? Fishes, birds. Yeah, that's it. Um, we had a couple of bunnies at one time. They were wild bunnies. Wild bunnies have a 90% mortality rate, meaning that if they grow up without their mother, they are going to die. So it was very likely that they were going to pass in the first place. But the reason that they have to be with their mother is because they have um, specific enzymes and specific things that they get from their mother's milk. And without that mother's milk, that's what causes them to like pass uh, and multiple dis diseases that a bunny can get a baby bunny so if you're going to buy a bunny or if you're going to get bunnies as pet make sure that they stay with their mother as long as possible to get as much nutrition do not take bunnies out of their natural habitat try and keep them there but if you have a charlie dog and it has killed the mother and you know that the mother is dead then do your best but just be prepared baby bunnies die oh gosh that was horrible why would you say that code it's natural i mean we did our best so and they were they had a really good chance sad okay s says can you send me a hundred roblox robux no <laughs> come on guys seriously you're asking that on the ninety thousand subscriber special Ah, here we are, two hours into it. Who has watched this entire two-hour special? I know that you've like paused it and came back and gotten snacks and things like that. What do you want to added or removed from Lumber Tycoon 2? My face and signatures and boats. That's thank you, uh, Con Nico, for your question. Uh, well done, Wade. No, well done. I love to see your channel grow. Ask code. How many times have you found Spookwood? A lot. I mean, honestly, I have not recorded all the times that I've found Spookwood, but take all the times that I've recorded it and times it by like 30. That's how much Spookwood I've found. So it's not as rare as it seems. It's just me recording it is a lot more rare. So thank you, JD Hamilton YT. Uh, Sazam, 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 yeah, says, How did you start YouTube? Um, my kids and my kids are the reason that I started perpetuating as much as I did um, but for the most part I I created a YouTube channel to show off my products inside Second Life so I was being a show off back then alright, <laughs> thank you for your question Sinotep says when did you get into Roblox and how's your family oh sorry for the car crash and I hope that your car gets better <laughs> feel better soon no, uh, the car's getting towed tomorrow so uh, when did you get into Roblox? Three years ago. Uh, about three, three and a half. Uh, how's your family? Family's doing really good. Thank you for being sorry about the car crash. The car crash, the, the car will be better because we're going, we're going to get a new car. So it's not going to be brand new, but it's going to be used. Jingle12. Hello, buddy. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I didn't hurt you. I will double check all these, by the way. How did you first learn about coding? Edit. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Okay. So, what got me into coding? What happened? Why did I become a programmer? Um, back in the day of this AOL thing, when it was big, and you could get 4,000 free hours on a disc for free, um, 
I started out my internet life on America Online, AOL. Inside there, there's these things called chat rooms. And I was a young kid who finally just started getting mouthy inside one of the chats. And I knew they weren't a moderator, but somebody says, you need to stop and you need to leave. I'm like, what are you gonna do about it? Blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, I got disconnected from the internet. I'm like, what in the world? What just happened? And then <laughs> I went back into the game, or back into AOL. It took me forever. You've got mail. Okay, and then I logged back into the, the chat room, the same chat room, and went, wait, how did you do that? And they said, a prog. And I'm like, what is a prog? It was that that thing that happened that this person was not an administrator. This person did not have access. They didn't have the ability. Something happened. Well, I found out progs are short for programs. You guys now call them apps, short for applications. Um, but this prog, it basically sent an instant message to the person on the opposite end, and it formatted the font in a way that it gave it a 999,999 million nine hundred ninety nine size well AOL had no restriction on what size you could do so you could literally put the size up to a billion and then send out the word hi so on HTML text on your end it just looked like a thing but instead of having to do all this themselves they literally just typed in my name hit a button I'm gone it would disconnect me because the size was too big it would cause my RAM to flood and it would boot me offline it was amazing and needless to say, I finally found out how the prog was made. It was created with Visual Basic, which I called it something else that is like Virtual Basic, is what I was calling it for like three weeks. Found out that Visual Basic is how they made it. They also used these things called BAS files, which were basic script files that were plugs in, plugins to AOL themselves. And then I got into Win32 application programming interface API. Application programmers interface, programming interface. So with the Win32 API, Visual Basic under my belt, and starting in on my hackery sessions, that was what started me into coding, programming. So when you guys are like, oh, I've got this excellent exploit that I can do, I'm like, dude, you don't know nothing. You, like, you're, you are downloading a program that you don't even know how it works in the background. So me, I went in deep, like to the, to the, the source code to figure out how this stuff works. So, okay. Thank you for your question, Jingle. Very good question. By the way, that's the one. Jingle is the person that won one of the uh, the friendship eggs. If you guys didn't know, am I still? Did he still in Bluewood? Yes, I am. Why did he, you betray us, Code? Oh my gosh, Swiftus, you're still on video, <laughs> dudes. You are still on video. Video. It's been <laughs> two hours and seven minutes so far. I'm still reading. <laughs> oh gosh, they're like, we know, we know. <laughs> I told them that I was gonna sign the basis. I might have to just write down your names and get it some other time because this is gonna take forever to upload. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Jingle, thank you so much for your question. Uh, TK3Kings says, Ask Code, we love you, Code. Mm, no. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Just so you know, and I'm going to explain it, no homo means that he's a guy and that he loves me. All right? There is nothing wrong with saying I love you to another man. And me as a man saying I love you to another man. There is no problem with that. Just like there's no problem with a girl saying it to a girl, a woman saying it to a woman, a man saying it to a man, does not matter, all right? Love does not have a gender. And I want you to stop thinking that way. I love you. I love that you watched it for two hours and nine minutes. If you're still here at two hours and nine minutes, that shows a significant amount of like caring, compassion, and love. So, <laughs> by saying something like that you're perpetuating a fear and I don't want you to fear that Q&A how has your day been going? it's been going really well 
Thank you for your question, TK3Kings. I love you. All right, next up, Clacko1345 says, what is your biggest dream? My biggest my biggest dream is money for nothing and my checks for free. I mean, that's that's basically that's it. I don't want to have to worry about money. I don't want to have to worry about my family. I hope everything's just taken care of. Um, I know that's not true, and it's not going to happen. Uh, it takes a lot of work to do YouTube, to do my life, and to do everything that I do. Um, so, my biggest dream? Retirement. <laughs> um, that's not entirely true either. Like, I, I'm way too active to do retirement yet. So, um, yeah. I guess I'm just a dreamer. Every single day. And I'm carrying out that dream. Which you should too. Thank you for your question. Uh, Jack loves Legos. Oh gosh, I can't scroll down any further. No, it's okay. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna have to fix this. All right. Um, maybe if I hold Alt. There we go. That'll work. Okay, this is this is just gonna have to do. All right. So I'm going to have to do all the last questions kind of squished up and on their own. Fade that over. There we go. So right here. Jack loves Legos123. Uh, can you make a schedule for when you live stream and record? No. Because it's every single day at the same time. 8.30pm uh, Central Time to 12 o'clock midnight is when I normally record. Streaming is going to be on Fridays and on Saturdays at 9.30pm Central Time. Uh, that is every weekend, and I will announce through messages through Twitter and through my community if I don't show up for those or if I don't record a video for the next day. So watch out for those. Um, am I going to create a schedule? No. Is the schedule going to change? Probably. It always does. But thank you for your question, Jack. Uh, Clout Rain, congrats, Q&A. How, how's your base doing on LT2? It's doing good. I've got a multiple multitudes of different bases, so it's doing great. Uh, Hillary says, when is the Let's Make a Game series coming back? Soon. I'm actually waiting for the book to come out first. Um, I, want, I want that to happen. Damien D. Brun says, how old are you? I am 36 years old, I, I think. Okay, Google. How old am I? There we go. How old am I? Oh. You are 36 years old. There you go. And it's got my birthday and stuff, so it knows it knows how old I am. Uh, so, oh gosh, I didn't mean to dislike it. Ooh, my bad. Oh gosh, you guys. Every code merch, sub to him, like, share, <laughs> including the poop mark on the shirt. <laughs> what are you saying? Okay. <laughs> Last question. Uh, Loke Force, can you play with Fus Factorio? Um, if you happen to follow me into the game, yes, we can absolutely play together. And that concludes all the questions. That's it. That's the last question inside our, uh, our special. Oh my gosh, you guys. That took so Oh, much longer than I thought it was going to. If you've stayed here this long, thank you for finishing it out and being an amazing fan. And thank you guys for 90,000 subscribers. Next milestone is going to be 95. The last one's going to be 100,000. We are almost there. You guys are amazing. I love you. And you, like, this was very fun. Um, I did want my daughter to read off the questions for me. But scheduling, it just didn't happen. So, shout out to my kids and to my wife and to you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And my goodness, my throat is so dry from reading the questions. We're going to keep this thing going. It's going to be an amazing time. And we are going to just keep playing, keep moving forward. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe down below. Did I say that already? I might have said that. Steven, are we going to do an outro? No? Okay. He, he fell asleep about an hour ago. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <gasps> Outro.
Thank you.